Mana Day. Mana Day. How we doing, everybody? It's been a long time. Yeah. It's been a year. Welcome to 2020 Mana Day. Oh yeah, dude. New decade. New, new decade, Mana Day. New decade Mana Day. Woo! <gasps> right, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired too. You guys are not even this morning. I know, I got I know. enough <laughs> sleep, but I'm just tired still. I did not get enough sleep. That that was the trick, but it's okay. We need Kevin to wake us up. It is I, true. Yeah, I haven't I didn't start drinking my coffee till I got here. Oh yeah. Yeah, I went down the street to Starbucks and got me some coffee and oatmeal and a little muffin. Yeah. I'll be good in twenty minutes. Cleaned up this room a little bit. Yeah. Got the smash stuff onto YouTube and a couple other things. Oh yeah. Buy lift. Um, so I also, I told Brad about this earlier, but I also like updated our sheet, made a new sheet. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got our max stats for our classes, mm -hmm. so we'll know where to go. One of the things that's interesting is I think that um, it does kind of limit you, won't you up, can upgrade unless you do upgrade some of the lower stats. So that might be one of the things we're running into, is like sure. we've got to get some of the other stats up before they'll let us race the ones we, we want. Sure. Um, and then I've made a note that we'll... Uh, to keep us in rem remembering, we got a baser to buy Poto oil, and then Pet has got the best gear, but we got to save up thirty-three thousand for each thing that we need. Um, Ooh, and then uh, some things for us to look forward to as we upgrade our class. Uh, one thing that uh, Kevin had all along that uh, I really didn't totally realize is like you know the little tech gauge, you know when it goes from green, yellow to red. Yeah. So each Kevin on each one of those levels, he actually has two different texts that are kind of context sensitive. Okay. Um, people weren't really entirely clear on like how it determines which one that you use in which circumstance, but I feel like one is like more of a grab and another one's more of like a like yeah. area of effect kind of that's, thing. That's what I would assume is it would be proximity. Yeah. yeah. Um, he also is going to get an ability called Aura Wave that will allow you to instantly fill the tech gauge. Oh, cool. So that's, that's good. Oh, so you just fill tech gauge, spam text. Yeah. Profit. Great. Um, Hawkeye is going to get a move called Deadly Weapon, which might be different in the translation here, uh, which uh, will be great for boss fights because it will instantly reduce their HP by a fifth. Cool. Um, but you can only use it once, obviously. And then Angela, uh, in addition to getting a couple of new high level spells, all of the more powerful spells she has that are single target right now are going to upgrade to multi target. Great. So, our stream is not up for some reason. Um, yeah, it, ha it hasn't been up. If you if you want to try to get it up, it might help just to keep track of subs. Um, all right. And then I think we're looking for a place that's called like the Glass Desert. So the Glass Desert. Oh, there we go. Just trying to remember which where where the things are. Man, I feel like this this is the first time I truly get to appreciate these new colors, which is great. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic colors. Um, and, what is still pissed? Pissed about the lower What is that pissed about? Y'all making stuff up? Chat? Crystal Desert. That's what they named it to. Okay. There's like two dots on the map though. It's interesting. Dragon Small. Maybe we go to Dragon Small first. It says destination is dragon small. We'll try it. Byleth. Were you pissed about Byleth? I don't think you were pissed about blood. Byleth? Blood? I was, no? Huh? Oh. I mean, like, we were all a little disappointed about it, yeah. but... Y'all making stuff up. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm pissed about it, but I'm, yeah. I would say, like, disappointed, for sure. But not, like... Yeah. Mad. I laughed when I saw it, but, yeah. like, I don't really... Yeah, definitely a chuckle for sure. I think we were, we were, dude, we were in such denial. I think that was the main thing. Oh, really? That's They funny. were like, oh, this is the troll. Like, he's gonna pull out the real character any minute. And <laughs> like, it just, oh, it's not happening. This is it. Chat, I don't think Blood's pissed about Witcher at all either. Oh, you got stoned, huh? Or no, Hawkeye got stoned. Um, 
Uh, He's a longtime CD Projekt fan. No, you you meant Cybertech. You said Witcher. Oh, sorry. Understandably so. Cyberpunk. But... He's pissed about the show, though. I'm just kidding. He isn't. I, no, I haven't seen it. Yeah, he hasn't yet. seen it. I wouldn't say I'm, I'm pissed oh, about Cyberpunk either, but I'm really, I'm really disappointed. I, it was actually on Tuesday. Mm. I was thinking to myself, and I expressed this to Hebrew. I was did like, you I open think... it? Not me. I did. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Um. Honey, you look so very nice. I am, like, the, the number one game I'm looking forward to talking about with you guys this year, I think, is Cyberpunk. Not so it's, it's a game that yeah, I'm Yeah, because it's going to be so wild, just talking about what happened in our games. Right, right, right. It's going to be the kind of game where we can, like, tell each other stories, mm -hmm. and I feel like it's a conversation that can last a while. So, yeah, a bit of a bummer, for sure. Mm -hmm. but... So, right now, you can see you might see Dust of the World. I love that optimism, Heath. Uh, I don't think they're connected at all, but... I think... Why not dream? I'm not pissed about FF7. It's not that long. I'm... I've waited five years. It's okay. I can wait like a month yeah, in a yeah, week. Yeah. yeah, it's weird. Like, I really don't mind delays at all anymore, I don't think. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to it. Like, Japanese game fan. Right. Just, so the <laughs> way it goes, baby. Yeah. I'm used to waiting a decade for a game, or half a decade. I think, I think, like, no one's mad here at Easy Allies, but it's just no. like, I, I think the thing that's different this time about the delays is we've kind of spent a long time being like, oh man, March is so crazy, March is so crazy, March is so crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, March is a lot emptier now. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I, just, I yeah. kind of was telling people that was going to happen. No, yeah. I wish Bethesda moved Doom oh, up to earlier in the month, bomb. so I could play it sooner. Bomb. What's sorry, bro? I What's want it? Bethesda to move Doom up to earlier in the month. I would love Instead Bethesda the end, to move up. Just, Bethesda to move Doom up to today, if possible. Yeah, just release it. It's yeah. done. <laughs> it's <laughs> done. That'd be great if you could just, yeah, just release it right now. Into January. Prepare for Breath of the Wild 2 delay. Yes. As a Zelda fan, also yes, I'm used to delays. I will never forget. As a video game yeah, fan. Yeah, as a video game fan, it's just like even more so, yeah. That's just the way it goes. Uh oh. Friggin' low. Alright. I got it. But yeah, there might be a Cyberpunk port. Uh, that'd be awesome when the next gen console launches if there's one ready. That's a great one. Okay. I. I'm not saying necessarily at launch, but like. Close. Ab absolutely there will be a Yeah, absolutely. Port Hopefully, of I would. Sooner the better. But who knows? I would, yeah, I actually do think they'll be like right at launch. I want that uh, Witcher 3 port also. March 3 I am pressing Half Life and Doom. I think there's a good chance Half Life will be today. Oh, Alex? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, considering Keeley's already played through the whole thing before it was revealed, it, it could is, be just totally ready. This is Valve we're talking about. Oh, that's about. the other one. Mm. Like, there have been so many times where. A Valve game has been like done completely, and then something happens. I could use. Oh, we could both mm. use Kevin, Kevin Healing. There's just a huge history of it. I think it might. Valve might just delay it because it's a habit. Like it might be completely ready to go. Yeah. And they get nervous. They're getting trigger They're like, fingers. Oh, I just do it. <laughs> We're gonna delay it. Uh, March and. I'm happy for Animal Crossing, though. Yeah. It's still the same day I'm as Doom, for, isn't it? I'm happy uh, for me. Okay, so we have 24,000, so yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. 33, we'll go back and get ourselves some gear. Ding! The new video graphics cards are meant to be released as soon as you think people want to buy that for Saturday. Oh yeah. Sure, yeah. People but people just want to buy graphics cards. Yeah. Seems like more than ever graphics cards are more talked about than I remember from Are the people past. still like mining Bitcoin? Good question. Oh yeah, Neo 2's in March. I forgot yeah. about Neo 2. I did too. I did too. When is that in March? Is that early March? I hope. I need to get that hammer. So out. I can play it? Yeah. That Man, I think I think Neo 2 is going to be good. I hope I think so, it's a yeah. game that's going to... Like, it doesn't have the hype of Neo 1 going no, into it. No, no, no. But I think it's going to... Be sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a little too long. Mm-hmm. 
It didn't it didn't super justify it. Oh, hey, thoughts on the Horizon Zero Dawn PC port? Yeah, I these, think that is excellent. These things are yeah, weird. cool. Game came out what 2017, so it's been a while. I'd be it's funny because see... it's still on my backlog. Like, still <laughs> Dude, sitting play there. the superior version. Yeah, the... But no, it's, like, it's one of those things that's, like, sitting, like, right under my PS4. Mmm. In a little stack of games. Still need to finish the DLC for it. I'd be curious to see Horizon Zero Dawn mods. I think yeah. there's a lot of interesting oh, things you yeah. can do there. Just put kills on characters in there. I forgot her, uh, attacks, like, viable again. Before, for a while, it was just, like, one... So it wasn't even like worth doing any chip damage. Yes. Play Dragon Quest Eleven Blood. All right, guys, give Blood a chance to live because <laughs> that game is massive. I, I will play Dragon Quest Eleven. Yeah, point, Blood's yeah. a dra Dragon Quest fan. Dude, when you do play Dragon Quest Eleven, I will be personally very hyped. Yeah. No pressure, of course. Yeah, it was like when Kyle went through it. Awesome. Get those reports. My weekly Dragon Quest report. I'm like, I'm like ready for Dragon Quest 12. Yeah, where is it? Where is Let's it? go. Where are the codes? Where are the codes, mm -hmm. blood? Simple question. Uh, little demons. Little demons. Uh, I'm gonna heal. Yeah. Multiple people. Yeah, everybody really needs it. Really, because I mean, well, you saw that Dragon Ball stream yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a code. Game wasn't even out yet. Mm -hmm. Bud got the codes. Me Dragon Quest AHD. I actually Dude, think that will happen. I want that I so bad. Too. So bad. I wouldn't even be surprised if it happened this year. Whoa. I want uh, the newer content on the 3DS version with like the extra characters because I didn't get oh, that far yeah. in the 3DS That would be one. really nice as a DLC thing. Oh, I think that'd be guaranteed oh. if it happened. When is PSO 2? Uh, I don't know, but I'm optimistic and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. So obviously you have the closed beta things happening. Then I had the PSO2, like, official North American account follow me on Twitter, and I was like, yeah. something's happening. Tell them to send us happening. multiple codes. Something's happening. I will hunt with you. How's the soundtrack? Have you heard any of it? I played it. I mean, I don't remember okay. any of it at all, but uh, we'll find out soon. I just remember PSO2 when I played it back in the day, having a real cool vibe. Just like a vibe I loved. Uh, that space station, dude. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Brad. I. There are so many positive things I could say about PSO, but vibes are at the top of the chart. Like, I love games that go out of their way to be have a distinct personality and just like. Especially at the time, like the emoticons that you could do. Arch mage. Like the weird weapons, the way dude, you could evolve your cool, mag. Like, well, I was thinking like, about how, like. Was, Awesome. Early online games, especially like that were on consoles, like how, like, what's the archaic some of the plus. systems are, like communicating with Nine people is like fist. super much harder than like a PC Strength. game. You just kind of like go through emotes, like talking to people, like not everyone has a keyboard. Ooh, you got the uh, nature aura, so I think that's the one that raises the tech skill. Um. So I can do it on anyone. Let's do it on Hawkeye. Hawkeye. But Brad, if you like, if you really wanted to be real about it, yeah, you, you did you your um, sweet. Yeah, I think was Hawkeye. Is that 881 damage? Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, you plugged in a keyboard, the official Sega I know. keyboard, baby. I, I used that thing. I didn't get to play it till it was on GameCube, though. Oh, so okay. like. I never like really got to play online the peak, but I did with eleven and that was a hell of an yeah. experience. Okay, twenty six. So it's going up, but it's not going up crazy. Right? With the PS two controller. I mean, I had the keyboard for that. Obviously, you're not going to get this anymore, and this is just like the consequence of time. But uh, 
I loved early communication in those days because it was just like people were just thrilled that they could talk to each yeah. other online. Yep. And so there was kind yep. of this like... It was like, crazy. You didn't take it for granted. No. In a way that I, that I missed. Whoa, this person! This is a human! Yeah. Now everyone just doesn't even want to talk. Yeah, <laughs> now no one wants to Shut talk up. at all. Yeah. Now it's just like join game mute everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I played uh, Persona 5 for three hours. Should I give it more time? Will it change stances? Will it change stance of RPGs? Yes. Um. So I definitely think if you gave it more time, your opinion would change on it. Not necessarily for the better, but it will, your opinion will change on it. But at the same time, like as somebody who loves Persona 5, don't don't force yourself. Anytime you like have to force yourself, and you're mm -hmm. not enjoying it, it's very clear that you're not enjoying it. GameCube using an adapter for Minecraft. Yes, I know there was a GameCube adapter. I didn't have one though. That suplex was hard. Up some Elder, Elder demons down here, dude. Oh yeah, that's God. the better move. That was Dragon Ball. <laughs> that's multiple. How much MP does this uh, tech gauge fill take? Um, I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Three, baby! Yeah, and you have... Spam! Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cheap, man. <laughs> Just remember that you heal, too. Oh, it heals you as well? No, 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 you have to yeah, heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say if it healed, then that's... Okay. It's the dark stone, but why? I got really, I, like, I had the like waking up, check your phone, but mm -hmm. still really tired thing, and I was like looking at the games of 2020, and I was like, oh man, Persona 5 Scramble's coming out in February? Man, I'm so excited! Oh, it's Japan. <laughs> oh boy. Whoa, dude! We just got in a Benevidon fight sick. without being ready. <laughs> I wonder if I should import that. No. Yeah, I don't know. Just wait. Just wait. Yeah, just maybe. Wait. Like, how long are you gonna play that? Are you gonna beat the whole game? I won't beat the whole game. No, no, no. I won't. I won't beat the whole game, Jeff. Ben, how will you go about? We're theoretically get a ten. Oh uh, no, 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 no. Um, it's it's not just like the original version got a. It was a different review scale, so that's mm. part of it. But it's also like you evaluate how it feels at the time. You know, mm -hmm. maybe playing Persona Five Royal, it's like, oh, this this isn't as good, or I I don't like it as much this time, or I, uh, I think they, the new additions made this worse. Mm -hmm. Right. So there are a lot of things. There are so many variables that could change the score. So no, it's not. If anything, because it's it's a re-release being marketed the way that it is, I think the expectations are higher. Um, the res, which one is it? The cup. Couple, cup. Wishes. couple wishes. Couple baby. wishes, baby. You know, Brad, thinking about like importing and stuff, the biggest reason why it's like, ah, I shouldn't do that, you gotta save up for next gen, baby. Yeah, I was like, isn't it expensive? Yeah, it'll be expensive. Yeah, dude. Save it up. This yeah. year's gonna be brutal. Yeah. Because, like, Pinch guaranteed, those pennies guaranteed have those to buy, systems. we're gonna have to buy two consoles each. Or, like, I am, you will. Oh, yeah, I'm, you, there's yeah. no way I'm not buying both those consoles. Yeah, I'm buying both, so. Maybe that little switch, little switch upgrade, maybe too. I'll buy that if they get that comes around. Dude, I needed a switch upgrade yesterday. I need a switch upgrade when it came out. It's 
Trying to avoid scramble footage in case it spoils P5R. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good idea. Okay, well, that's uh, that's a astute idea. Mm -hmm. I don't know if like these uh, debuffs impact both sides or is it considered like two different bosses? Whoa! Oh god. I've given up on launch day purchases. Wait for those discounts, baby. Yeah, uh, I would not advise for most people just to go out yeah, and buy yeah. a console unless you're like yes. a hardcore person. For us, it's well, it's not our only job. Are we, <laughs> not only into it, but it is our job also. Yeah. It's like I host a podcast where I give game impressions. People are gonna want to hear about true. So next gen game, and they're gonna want to hear about console impressions too. I think if I don't buy them, they like throw me in prison or something. True. Yeah. 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 I'm trying. I mean, I'm like if, trying to open the menu frantically. Backwards compatible, then it's fine. Well, people still are going to want to hear about the new hardware and how it runs on the new hardware because it's new hardware. Yeah, like, come on, guys. Come on. Oh, at 60 frames per second. On PS5. Hey, me too. Zipping in 60 frames. Hell yeah. Dude, whoa, some cool staff attack, look. Oh, you hit him for one. <laughs> um, the Fire Emblem DLC news is like the most exciting news of the day. Yeah. Uh, when is it coming out? House, baby. I February like, 12th. I just it's beat right that game, so I might hold off. Sure, sure, sure. I, I yeah, like that game. I'm excited. I, I really came turn around on that game. It seems like substantial, yeah. interesting, but it's just like, DLC. where was this house the whole game? Right, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Never mention. It'd be cool if they dropped like little hints. As far as I'm aware, I haven't beat all the campaigns, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I mean, like, it, the game already has three yeah, different houses. Exactly. Yeah. One that has two routes that you can explore. Yeah. So it's like, I get it. I get. I think it's fine, like not having it. But like, right away. that's like me nitpicking it. I don't. Sure, it, sure, it doesn't sure. really matter. Yeah. Like whatever, it's fine. Uh. Gotta make that money. Yeah. How many allies didn't go Black Eagles Crimson Flower route? Uh, Brad didn't. I didn't. Yeah. Brad, Brad didn't I was. Down. Dominic did all of them. But he was going near first, and you and Ian first. were both um, Black Eagles. Mm -hmm. oh, I did, did the other one already die? Black Eagles. Yeah, well, the other one you can't target, so. Brad, Huber loves axe moves and Byla's smash character. You don't say. I'm shocked. Oh, cool, cool. Just want to balance protective. Totally fair. Yeah, I think, I think, I'm actually really surprised and, um, happy. I, I thought, like, it would be me and Damiani and maybe Brad talking about Fire Emblem for Goaty, mm -hmm. but there's going to be a lot more people giving a lot of different perspectives and different experiences in the series. I think it'll make a much better discussion, so I think it's awesome. Like, Three Houses is going to get representation in Goaties that I didn't expect, and I think that's... Mm -hmm. That game deserves it. It totally does. Yeah, it's real good. Breath. It's real good. I like it. Oh. oh. Dang, there's the alien. To be yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Xenomorph you. Uh, super hyped. Three S is your personal. Life. Yeah, man. Go Goody's been hard for me. I am still like in the midst of it. But yeah, I still don't like have a pick exactly. I I am liking Outer Wilds a lot. It's a it's a very like. Just from a design perspective, it's a really cool game. Mine's locked in. Oh, something's happening. Reanimate. Is this like one of the. Oh, oh crap. Oh, oh no. Sweet. <laughs> Did he spray some green for these? Right, so oh, he's a cool dude. Oh my gosh. gosh. It's a Castlevania boss. Yeah, this spr these sprites are majestic. Crap. <laughs> Whoa, dude, sick. Sekiro's alive. I mean... No, it's not. Like... 
for me it is. Whatever whatever wins Goaty to me is like less interesting than the conversations that we have. Mm. Like, yeah, that's fine. You could spam Sekiro, but like, I just want to have good talks about games. Mm hmm. Uh, ben, did you see DMC3 on Switch has style switching? Must find out. But so, yeah, did. style switching I saw is amazing. It. The thing that I'm worried about is like, will it make the, will it like, make the game less challenging in a not fun way? Hmm. Um, because the styles are really, really powerful. So I wonder, I, I don't know, I actually haven't looked into it. Maybe they tuned it for that. But. Style. DMC5 needs a combo. We'll talk about DMC5, don't worry. Oh, yeah. I think your spear bomb thing is pretty good, Dude, too, if, if you want to... If I, had a, if I had a shield, it would have Devil May Cry 5 on it. <laughs> Bring it up and goatee. Just bring a motorcycle in. But where's the Shadowbringers representation? Ooh. Do you really think there won't be Shadowbringers? Yeah, what do you mean? Like, do you, do you really think that? I beat it. Damiani beat it. I thought it was great. We're gonna talk about it. That moves. So cool. I think it's the first time I've seen him do three. Hitting the X button, they're just like, nope, it's their turn. I think chat underestimates this sometimes. They do. What do you mean? No, just like. They I don't do. Know. Did I hit select? Okay, there we go. Oh, that no. xenomorph. Oh, now Angela's dead. Good grief. It's a 20 minute boss fight. Oh, oh what the heck, dude? can toss. This is it. This is we need to get this move out as many times as we yeah, possibly that can. Sick. Oh. Overall Goody could go several things. I'd be happy. I'd be more interested in hearing this year's personal picks. I'm always interested in more personal picks. Yeah. I think it's I think it's way more interesting. We'll do them. Overall Goody. Because like then you get you get the most variety that way. Yeah. Can't wait for Toki Mirage Sessions tomorrow, Ben. Yeah, I'm just excited for it too. I'm bummed that we didn't get it. <laughs> um, mm. because like it will mean that our coverage is severely delayed. Uh, and it's completely out of our hands, but I mean that has nothing to do with the game itself. Like the game itself. Annihilate? I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> We're gonna do the green. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, look at that crap. Oh no, you're alive still. It probably takes you down to one. Oh. And then uh, they follow with that crap? <laughs> okay. Okay. One couple wishes left. And then what do we need? Uh, 493, main thing is you are low. 
but how many drinks do we have? Five. We can we can we can drop a five. Is Tokyo Mirage more SCT or Persona? Uh, it's definitely more from a, like a presentation tone standpoint. It's definitely more Persona. It doesn't have that uh, SMT bleakness in it. Oh, I got it. But it's not like a tactics RPG, is it? No, no, no. no. Oh yeah, claw it up. Hold on, let's heal it up first. I'm really I'm excited to revisit that battle system again. It's it's interesting and challenging. Uh, and slow, but it makes up for it. Did I just speed up to the battle system? Goaty. Goaty CG again. He CG again and just made it. Some challenging losses for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. I've been in like a strategy mood mm. recently. Force. No, oh, is that the one that drops him to one? Shing. Yeah, like the Triforce one. Oh, oh no, down. he's dead. That's it. Kill them. We have no cup wishes left. Uh, oh. Okay. Well. well. Kevin. Here's, here's what we're gonna try. I'm just gonna try to DPS this. Yeah. That's always a scary situation. Yep. But it feels good when you do it. Like, Angela's gonna die. I still got a single heal, so just. I would. I would focus on. I would focus on healing because this does more damage. So if the less time that I'm spending healing you. Yeah. I've never played Hunted. Yeah, I never played it. It, lo oh, it looked a little generic to me at the time. Maybe it's, it's better than it seems, but... Come on, let me do something. I know. I know. I hate this. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, he this does one too much. much. Yeah. yeah. So now it's all... Come on, Kevin. All, Kev. all right, Kevin. The classic... JRPG Save moment. Save us. One party member oh, wait, left. Oh now I, I'm the freaking Save control? us. What's oh, he's reanimating. What? Oh yeah, I guess you're the control. Hit me, blood. I'm, I'm hitting it. <laughs> oh no, that's the one health thing. Come on, this has to kill them. Or I think we're dead. Yeah. Oh. No. Uh, <laughs> it didn't even do the damage. Wait, did they die? Did they die? They turned red! I they turned I red! I don't know, that might just be because the... Because we died. I choose to believe. Ugh. Good grief. Well, we know where that is, so we can okay. save first. That was But maybe we get a our... A super maybe long we fight. grind a little for some cash? Yes. That was brutal. I... Uh, I just wish Angela had more health. Squishy. Yeah, I mean, that's just part of her yeah. character. Yep, Squishy. absolutely. All right. <laughs> uh, Brad, what I was playing late last night was XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. And, like, we're totally what? full of all this stuff, right? It's what? just so good. Yeah, we've got everything we need. It's just... Oh, we could use more. one more couple wishes. That actually <laughs> could be worthwhile. So we'll get one more couple of issues. <laughs> Brad, I've been playing the Wild Patch Man Super Mario stuff. Yeah, I've seen it. I, I'm not going to play right now, though. 
Too much stuff. I'm playing Dragon Ball right now. Shala! Yeah, hype opening. I, I, I will never have, well, I guess never say never, but, like, I've been curious about EVE Online for, like, nope, I'm not touching 20 that. years, <laughs> and, like, someday oh I would love to actually play it. <laughs> do you think they'll port DMC4 over after 3? I do. Oh, yeah? I don't see it, I see it. I see everything else. Oh, there it is. DZ Kaka looks super jolly from yesterday's stream. Yeah, it's jolly. I'm just gonna buy a bunch. Wishies. So that they'll be in storage if we have to use them before we get there. Next easy to then eat online only. That would be hilarious. Dude, that would be... I think that would be too much. I think you guys would probably be understandably mad. Yeah. But I think that would be hilarious. I would think it's hilarious for like four hours. Sure, that's fair. Then I'd just but then, be But then upset. at like the 20 hour mark, it'd get hilarious. It'd get again. funny again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it'd have the circle. But then it would get to the point where I'm looking at the clock like yeah, oh I'm yeah. waiting to get out of school. Yeah. It would be a bad, great stream. We'd lose money. <laughs> Someone just gives us money and even did for you. <laughs> but yeah, someday. Sometimes we're like, yeah, this is figuring out like, okay, how do I land here? Kai would disappear and come back and with a giant armada and take us out. That'd be amazing. He just takes all of our stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go again. <laughs> Do you want to find out who lost the cat's I think it's Brandon. Lost. All right. Jeez. Shadow clone right off the bat. Uh, we um... feel like really under level. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's it's not just the level. It's the we got to get that gear. It's gonna take a while. Good old grinding, baby. Some Let's spikes. go. Oh, I don't even have... <laughs> yeah, we have to get our, our levels back up. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the worst feeling, though. Yeah. You lose progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. D-leveling. <laughs> Go for Well, they had no warning that like, oh, this is going to be the room where the boss fight is. Yeah, so, yeah, know, yeah. It's like, good grief. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any of my stuff either. Jones Dude, you know what would be a good show? Jones plays a Korean MMO. <laughs> wow. That's a good show! Yeah. That's a great but entertaining we, show. So we play like the main stuff, we're just grinding, we give it to Jones. Yeah. No, I mean, well, it is grind. That's the thing, it's like the whole thing. But like nothing else, like you just do battles, Jones, that's yeah. it. It's like a robot, you know, if you're bored, you have them play for you. It would be it would be the best of both worlds. It'd be anime as hell, oh, <laughs> and it would just be nonstop grinding. I think seeing Jones play Black Desert Online would just be funny to me. Doing that character creator, he would. He would probably just try to make a Red Dead character. He would love it. Yeah. <laughs> just pick an archer. Combo skills together, you got a great time. Yeah, I mean like a pet class or an archer. That's what Jones likes. Game past these things is so weird. Where? We use the Edelgard skin for Byleth and Smash. I don't know because it'll it may just make me sad that Edelgard's not in Smash. <laughs> uh, so, un unclear at this time. Like... 
It could have been anyone other than Byleth, and it would have been more <laughs> hype. <laughs> it could have been anyone. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Well, you know, did you hear what, uh, I forget who it was that proposed this morning. They were like, uh, it would have been better if, like, it was more like Pokemon trailer. Trainer? Trainer, where, like, Byleth yes, is full, absolutely. one of the leaders. Yeah, that would have been fantastic. Totally. Oh, uh, Hawkeye's down. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, heal him up. Heal that. We learned about that new way to count your hands, what? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the weird hand counting thing. Counting with binary, remember? I I didn't watch the. Oh the yeah, Sakura had some really interesting. <laughs> Sounds correct. Okay, he, like, so went he does through the, the names of every Fire Emblem game by Jesus memory. Worse. Whoa. <laughs> never forget Gino. Yeah, I'll never forget. Did he do like spinoffs and remakes and stuff? Uh no. Okay. He He's, just did. But he he was like. You know, every, you know, like, every, if you just, like, count the main games in the series, there's 17 games, mm. and then he's like, you know, here's the challenge, can you name them all? And he just, like, went through them all <laughs> in order. Wow. Sakura is a beautiful yeah. soul, man. Soul, man. Like, think about, think about how many, like, like, shitty character requests that man has had to listen to yeah. incessantly <laughs> for, like, a good chunk of his life, and he's still optimistic and loves video games. It was so on frame trap when we did that, like the developer's game of the year or whatever, was he on that list? You told me in Huber, like everyone's, like a lot of the game developers from Japan's goaties. I'm trying to remember if he was on that list or not. I don't remember. Brad, I don't remember this at all. I don't remember. It was there, it was track. I believe it. No, oh, we got a mystery <laughs> seed. Don't need those anymore, thanks. Uh, I'm gonna use a Kevin heal on Hawkeye sure. here. Sure. Use a K heal. Kid Draconis. This is a bad screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like everyone's just well, mashed up under that. Like, yeah, it'd be L fine star. if we were like fighting <laughs> over on the side. Sorry, Chrono Trigger for the first time yesterday, one of the greats. That it is. Uh, Midnight oh, is doing oh. something with that. Ooh. Oh, you're on uh, Hawkeye. Why? Oh, I'm just petrified. Oh, I see. I see. You can heal him with the. Uh, Leaf. It's like being a fan of Fire Emblem, I was just saying, I wasn't talking about his fandom of Fire Emblem, I'm, I'm just talking about his general optimism. But that's sick that he attends all the concerts. Yeah, it is cool. Sakurai is the white prince of nerd media? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> he is kind of the opposite of Kyle. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. I love how even when there's one enemy, he makes a clone. It's like, I'm not fighting that, you go clone. Okay. Finished the strand this morning. Ending was a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That that is a good way to describe it. Yeah, it's a lot. That's it, that says everything. Angela needs one too. Toss him out. Oh yeah, that the endings endings from <laughs> just right now. Yeah. Oh man. Long ending. You gotta you gotta have a day set aside for that. Mm -hmm. Did I target the wrong? Set a day event. That's why, like, I waited till, like, I got home, mm -hmm. rather than, like, trying to do it at my mom's house. Like, this is gonna take a while. 
Why not Sam Porter Bridges and Smash? It would be really funny. Dude, I would love if that happened. Just happen, right? watching Sam like pick up cargo and yeah, like beat, tossing it. You yeah. Just beat people with it. Yeah. The, like the rope gun or whatever, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Strand. Yeah, I love that. Thing. <laughs> That'd be so many, so many cool things. Oh my god, I hate the dark prince. Is it a bit or is it just the truth? Both. <laughs> it's like, both. Is it just an accurate description? It's both, yeah. The cup and costume in Smash looks well done. Yeah, it does look pretty good. I wish it was like... Dude, if they had a Cuphead like, stage, that'd be awesome. That would hey, be too intense though, probably. That'd remember take forever. that Cuphead DLC? No. <sighs> Still in development. Um, is Ori and the Will of the Wisps March? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, shit. It was originally February. Caught up, finished. baby. Feels good. good. <laughs> Feels good to be caught with a franchise. I but mean, some I never will be. It's a franchise now. Yes, but it's one game. I know. But I'm still caught up. <laughs> and I did it recently. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not trying to rain your yeah. brain. But it feels fun. good when like a sequel is coming out. Like just the, just frame it that way. Like yeah. I'm caught up on this franchise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brad played the definitive edition, then rolled it back and played the original version. <laughs> what? Because they like updated it, they added some stuff to it in the definitive. Oh. So I'm saying you played definitive first. Oh yeah yeah. And then you played it again. Yeah before. yeah. yeah. Yo, what if- Yo, we just got wiped. <laughs> How much progress did we lose, blood? All of it. Okay, you're playing, Brad. Why? Why did we just get wiped? What the crap just happened? Bathroom break. <laughs> what is this game, dude? <laughs> what? <laughs> right. oh, oh, Kevin, baby. Normal freaking enemy. Uh, Blood, I was looking at the remake of this game. If I ever played this again, so there's three other characters we haven't played as. Yeah, it's like, but, what do I want to do? But, I don't know if I want to be that character that just talks like a baby the whole time. Oh, yeah. Dude, and it's yeah, like, Charlotte. I kind of want Kevin still. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I'm on the fence of like, who I like. Because I feel attached to these characters. So much. But I'm also yeah. curious about the other characters. Also, like, depending on uh, who you pick, there's, like, three different variations on, like, uh, yeah. the bosses and stuff you fight. Dude! That was awesome! I'm not sure Japanese is slightly less bad, but the English VO in the remake is Star Ocean 4 tier? Oh, no. Oh no, dude, are you serious? <laughs> oh, no. These things are weird, you gotta kinda go up them at an angle. Oh, that is weird. Uh, they emailed out some like new art for the remake of the I know you posted it. Yeah. Sick. Safe. I'm just having the it looks like they're putting a lot more effort into this remake. Than secret, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we should not be afraid to use quicksand bomber. Oh yeah, I mean, I wasn't afraid. I just didn't have any. Yeah, no, I just like forgot I about it. It's gonna be wiped anytime soon. Bird, dude. We just like deleted that bird. Drop some heels. Oh, yeah. Dude, just heal everybody.
Uh, is she the only one? Yeah, okay. Heal him up. Do 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 do. In the room of Talk of Horizon coming to uh, PC? Yes, we did see that. Cool if true. But a little unprecedented. Yeah. A first party title. Yeah, like super first party. Yeah. Like, I wonder if, the, if it does come out, I wonder if they'll just do it, like, years later. Right. After it releases. Oh, boy. Oh! Okay, dudes. Okay, dudes. I can't even see anything. Yeah, the screen. Isn't it second party? No, it's first party. They own Guerrilla Games. Hey, when's that Zen uh, Xenoblade remake or whatever coming out? I want to say April. Oh. But I, I maybe Stack them up. I'm, I'm stuck sure down here, dude. I don't oh, think there. it has a date. Eagerly waiting for that one. Laura, can we get a quick save? Can we get just a uh, quick save, dude? Sure. Like, just get a quick save. I had a spot that I picked that I was going to do it, but yeah, it doesn't hurt. Remember May yeah, 29th. These guys, the, the hey. eyeball guys. Right before E3, what a perfect time to come out for us. Yeah. I man, for, now look, I wish it was coming out in April. Yeah, look for that coverage in July. I mean, yeah. Like May 29th may be correct, but it's just a rumored date. There's no. Gotcha. Yeah, Chat's just trying to get people's hopes up. The world will finally understand. I will know it's beauty because it won't like disgust me to look at it Wait. this time. Mm -hmm. oh, Drops nails, yeah. Oh, okay. The CG dragon was moving. Oh wait, 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 wait. That's really cool. Hold on, dude. We're healing up. Man. Yeah, Put this, it on the this list. This dude's gonna man. wipe us. <laughs> oh, are they? Uh, okay, let's do them, Kevin. Seems like switch physical only. <laughs> yes. Let's not. Let's not. That would be funny. Let's not re-traumatize ourselves. I mean, we were really lucky to get even that. Operation uh, Rainfall. Uh, where are you? Here you are. You know, watch that Dragon Quest movie if you like Dragon Quest. Damn, that's pretty. Wow. Uh, that's that's a firm take. Why do you say that, Ryan?
I like it. I don't think I, I get like super excited about it, but I like it. I get super excited about it. That's cool. Oh, that heals this frog, okay. Look. Apparently there's a Yakuza 1 stage play. You gotta win it. Anyone else really hyped for the new Lego Star Wars? Dude, I am surprisingly hyped for Lego Star Wars. Playing some uh, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga and Force Awakens, and am shocked at how good they are. Both of them. Like, those games are that's better than thing. they need to be. Mm. Hey, that's like the first time I've actually seen a weapon pop up here. How do I get that? Or maybe that's not a weapon. Let's see what that is. I'm interested to see how they handle like specific things in the, the Skywalker Saga from mm. the, the last two movies, like the Battle of Crate, for instance, mm. and Lego Film. It's really sick in Battle Fun, too. Have you done the mm -hmm. Battle of Crate map? Mm -hmm. Where it's just like an open area of death, and you have to yeah. like, run into the tunnels and stuff. Oh, so that's, cool. an, that's not a weapon, but it's some kind of item you can use. Basilisk Fang. Huh. Poison cloud, one enemy, okay. Let's poison wormwood. Wormwood. <laughs> yeah. Is that the one that had rock one, or is that two? Uh, two? No, three had rock. Okay. I'm trying I to remember, that. I'm getting confused on which ones were new and which one. I think I've played one and three then. White was two. Mm. Flying pink one was three, and yeah. rock was three. Yeah, rock was three. The whole, like, first boss deals with the rock. Rock. <clears throat> Purple was two, which mm. is similar to rock. Mm. Oh, right. Yeah, because it's just big and heavy. <clears throat> there we go. We got it all straightened out. She played Pikmin on the Luigi set. Play both. Uh, I prefer the, uh, we don't know. Yeah, it's pretty good. Really kill him. It's dead. Yeah. <laughs> but you really kill its body dead. again. <laughs> on the release date for DMC3 on Switch, I have to travel to another country and match made in heaven. That's really funny to me because I can just like see somebody on a plane like making like really intense faces and like oh like fighting Virgil on a plane then. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Cash, we have 225. Oh man, we lost so much cash even. 
No, don't go in that room. Any hype for the Mega Man Zero collection? Can't wait for it. Right? Oh yeah, I ju I checked on the uh, date for it today. I want it. I'm sad it got yeah, delayed. I never played them, so. Uh, I wish it was this month. Oh, but... I look forward to playing some of them. Yeah, I think we'll just go back and forth in this route right. until we get some, some cash or some items. Hopefully, we get Zero Collection early so we can do some coverage on it. That would be good. Mm hmm. Um, is there anything I should know about Toby Mario before I start? I, it starts a little slow, um, so if you're not takes expecting time. that, um, just give it a little time. Give it a little time. It, it sort of takes a, a bit to find its footing. That's not good. Haha, look at that. <laughs> eyeballs popping in you. Yeah, it's kind of funny that those are popping up here because, like, we went through, like, such specific the techniques areas, yeah. <laughs> to try to get it in the other area. Uh, don't skip side stars. That's good advice to Johnny Shrek. Oof. At what number out of 11 characters are we going to have all of them still? Okay, soccer, I love this shiny Fire Emblem OST. Excuse regardless. I... Oh, come on. Oh! I don't think I would have Byleth at all. Uh, let's heal up. Let's heal Hawkeye over here. Top him off. Man, I didn't know that there was a uh, fast forward in the club. That's so... <laughs> I feel like I'm being, I'm being handed a present. Like, Chad is just like, hey, Ben. What indie rep would you want to see in the science cuphead new fighter plus science treatment? Um, I don't know if you mean, like, just as, like, costumes or spirits, but I, I would really love to see Shantae in the game oh, as a character. Oh, Shantae. Um, oh, Hollow Knight's a good pick, too. I know she's a spirit. I want King Knight. Then he's gonna find you. You asked, but you asked me what I thought about it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not soccer, Roger. I'm just saying what I would do. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I really like to see Shantae. Hi, all my. Huma, Kira, and Astro Chanker got added as spirits for seeing RB. I think they were already added. Twenty-six thousand. Right. I forgot I had that. Game. I feel like these guys drop more cash than hmm. the others. Hornet is the better character pick. I agree. I think the Hornet is the we'll better see. pick. This looks like after. Man, just doing those diagonal down the press. Astral Chain Spirit starts tomorrow. Oh, okay. That's wrong. Thank you. Lappy is a spirit. That's awesome. I, I just don't get excited for spirits. Like, Not at all. I just don't care about spirits. Like, I I, I love Lappy. I think Lappy's awesome. But, I, yeah, spirits don't really get me hype at all. Yeah. What means your four safe fire is going do. to happen? How would brand manager lessen this? Oh, okay. Sure, sure, sure. I think that's an interesting question, Roger. Um, I don't know if at any other point, like. How did you even do that? Mm, <laughs> there we go. I'm going to take that back. I think if you. If it was like. The second to last character that you knew was going to be released for Ultimate, like yeah, second so or third last, dash. okay. Like once the game has been out for a significantly longer, um, and like you've had more unexpected characters, I guess than than where we're at right now. I think 
placing it towards the end, but not the final one. Did you see the Three Houses DLC? I saw that it exists and what it is. I, if, if there's a trailer, I haven't seen the trailer yet, but I'm excited to watch that. Yeah, all I saw was the tweet that Brad put in. February 12th, baby. An Astral Chain stage would be sweet. An Astral Chain stage would be sweet because it could shift in really cool ways. Oh, yeah, yeah, Astral Chain stage would be sweet. Man, an Astral Chain like fighter would be awesome. Like using different legions and wrapping people up and like doing like a wall and having them bounce off. That'd be fantastic. Banjo should have been the last. I really like the way that they did it, but yeah, it would it would also be exciting as the last one for sure. Do you still have candy? Or did you eat it all? Candy. I mean, actual real candy. Yeah, that's just pretty fierce. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we hit those high juice yeah. real fierce. There's a lot of candy left. There's a lot. always a too lot much of candy. candy. I think there's been a lot. Well, of candy we had gotten it pretty guys, so. whittled down. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that just people weren't into, so it ended up getting tossed eventually, but. Uh, we, yeah, we whittled it down and then uh, the last month or so it's gotten built back up. Heals it. Uh, is Astral Chain worth its price? Yeah, I would definitely say Astral Chain is worth its price. There, there are things that I don't like about it, but in terms of like it being worth it, I totally think it's worth it. I don't th I don't think everybody will agree with that, but for me, yes. Um there's another question. Oh, what was I going to say? You know, these delays, maybe it will give attention to things. It will create more room for things. Like, maybe people, optimistically, maybe more people will check out, like, the Mega Man Zero ZX collection. Mm -hmm. Maybe more people will check out Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Probably oh, not. Oh, that was the wrench. That's what you were going to get with Hawkeye. Oh. Well, now, whatever is going to come out around Cyberpunk's time is going to get annihilated now. That's in September. I, I don't think much is announced for September. Not yet. Remember that Terry Long did 50 SK stars? Yeah, that's the same. The fire pass is worth its weight in OST alone. I don't, I totally don't think you're wrong, Roger. I don't, yeah. No, I think you're just right. I was going to say, like, some people probably don't care, but no, you're just right. Um, I hope the single player for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is good. Yeah, me too. I feel like... I wish they were doing, like, previews now for it. I feel like mm. it would be a good time to kind of put yeah. that game on people's radar. Like, I think a lot of people have forgotten about it since beta. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know... I don't know what's going on there. What's the, uh, the other game, the RPG one, coming out? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep track of like how much gold we're getting on these things. So I know when uh, we're about ready to take off. Appear in James Chen's stream with an XC employee yesterday. That's cool. I didn't know that. I guess, and maybe that's just their strategy. But I, I, I think I was hoping for just for broader coverage. I guess. You guys ever played Bloody Roar? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Man, we haven't played it here though. Yeah, we have. We did. Yeah, we did play Bloody Roar thing. for a, like yeah. a big um, like anniversary stream. Oh okay. yeah. It was thrown into the mix. We played some Bloody Roar.
They specifically said Relink is not shown that much because they don't want to take attention away from the fighting. That makes sense. Um, I, man, I really... Fantasy Versus is in the perfect spot for a game for me where I like... What I played of the beta made me really excited to play more. Mm. Like, I can't wait to get my hands on it. There were a lot of things that I loved about it. Yeah, so see, like, my intellect will be able to get higher than that, but it wants me to do something else first. Let me get my spirit up. The thing that's hard, though, specifically about fighting games, more so than other games, is... I didn't even see what that was. They go by so fast. Um, no strength. Hawkeye? No, that's, oh, this is that's Kevin. Kevin, yeah. Uh, do stamina. Oh, everyone leveled good. Yep. I feel like there are a lot of times fighting games can give you like a strong initial impression, but they don't necessarily indicate Fire Cloud. how well you're going to enjoy it after a long period, mm -hmm. you know, and you, there are things you don't realize until you play it a lot. Let me see if I can figure out what got upgraded. <laughs> Maybe it was Earthquake. Plane Divinity 2, still 10, Lizard Race, Best Race. Red Prince. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, I can't wait to see more of Baldur's Gate 3. Me too. I, like... Please. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. It's gonna be, like, like actually goatee quality. Yeah. Did Kevin get any uh, abilities? Did you see? Look at the... Doesn't, doesn't look like it. Did but you got the, yeah, the tech cage thing. That's good. Tech cage. We'll check out this fire cloud that check we just got. Out. I buy a lot of fake games only to realize after a few days that I'm not in the mechanics of that particular game. Sure. And that happens. Totally fair. I bought Street Fighter V and played like an hour. Then I never played it again. And I don't know why. I just did it. No well, reason. I um, like I didn't even play like four at all. So. Champion edition. Next month. Yeah, I'm not going back. <laughs> I'll you talked to the Baldur's Gate 3 director at E3. I did not. Did somebody? I don't think any of us did. You yeah, making stuff so. up, chat? Oh no, I'm small. I, man, Brad, uh, speaking of, like, your Street Fighter V thing, like, I really enjoyed the time that I put into, like, Dragon Ball Fighters, mm -hmm. but I just haven't had the itch. the itch, the way that I do for other fighting games, I'm just like, no, like, yeah. I'm, I'm done with fighters. I'm almost more excited for Bulls Get 3 than I am for Starfield, and I haven't even seen Versus two gates. The whole hyped it up big time. Yeah, um, you always gotta be careful with hype, but like, it's Baldur's Gate 3 and it's Larry Studios. Like, yeah. I, sometimes you just feel confident. Like, I'm super inexperienced with CRPGs, but I played a lot of Baldur's Gate 2 and I thought it was great. And they're, Ben's like, hey, they're making Baldur's Gate 3, this franchise I know of and people love. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm sure it'll be great then. Yeah. Because that team seems to know what they're doing. And now that they have, like, probably a huge budget or a much bigger budget. Yeah, that seems like a, a fit that makes sense. I'm like, oh, they're developing it? Yeah. That's, oh, it's, yeah, it's, that's, it's that's, a That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Which is really cool when that happens. I almost think, like, Divinity Original Sin 2 was a game that got, rightfully so, mm. got a ton of attention. But I, I almost feel like Baldur's Gate 3 could be kind of their Witcher 3 moment. Yeah. Where it, it totally. puts them on an even bigger totally, stage. Totally, totally, totally. Yeah. Um, it's a beloved IP. Yeah. I'm like, when did Baldur's Gate 2 come out? So long ago. Right? Oh, Baldur's yeah. Gate 2 came out... 
I want to say 99? Yeah, 99, 2000, something like that. If I'm remembering correctly. They're Morrowind. Yeah, they're Morrowind. That's a good way to, to put it. It does make sense, but living up to the originals is an insane feat. That's true. That's true. But you know, Divinity 2 is real good. That's the thing though, is like, in a way, I think, like, I, I think Fate Servant brings up a really good point. But in a way, I almost feel like Divinity Original Sin 2 kind of lived up to that legacy already. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, it's not uh, the same, but like, that game oh, that is... You. Is is how those style of games should have continued. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? A natural evolution. It was a natural evolution. Yeah. Did Hawkeye to open it? What? Hit select and have Hawkeye open it. Oh, I thought you were Hawkeye. You can't go up that, that's why I was, I was having you guys do it. Oh yeah, definitely. Dude, these guys. Yeah. I'm just curious, chat. Not the most original question, but like I'm just curious to see, like, if there's a lot of diversity or not. Like, what is what is the number one 2020 game that you're looking forward to? Yeah, I think it's really a proximity thing. Whether you do the uh, the grab or the yeah, I should have been further back. Bomb. Let's, let's toss out just a heal for one uh, the Hawkeye. Buff him up a little bit. Hold on, he's bad for me. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. Let's see where we're at on cash. Oh, we got, a, we got a soccer Wars in there. We are almost there on the cash. SMG5 is probably not 2020. I like where your heart is, dude. Um, so somebody mentioned that uh, Deer Spies mentioned uh, flight simulator which i thought was really oh interesting. yeah i would i would totally be interested in checking out flight simulator but it's one of those things where like am i just immediately and over my head right or i have to think that at this point they're gonna have some like e easy win kind of modes sure i i'd like to give it a shot Ooh, Deadly Premonition 2 is a good one. They have settings that can ease you in. Um, somebody mentioned, somebody was talking about uh, Star Citizen. Like, <laughs> this is maybe a poor question, but is there anything in Star Citizen worth checking out right now? No, like they've released different modules <laughs> of things. Um, I just noticed all these enemies are like 43, so that's probably who we should be at before we take on this boss. Sure, we're low. 40. Uh, grind it out, baby. Yeah, Kevin needs it. <laughs> no, no one needs it. question for chat and I mean this in like the most neutral way possible like I really just want to know what is interesting to you guys to watch but like I'm really hyped for Animal Crossing New Horizons obviously Brandon is really hyped for Animal right. Crossing New Horizons Brad is as well or 
sorry, blood is as well. Um, like, you know, Brandon's gonna do a lot of stuff with it, and I think it'll be awesome. If Brandon is, like, already doing stuff, let's say Brandon does a solo stream, would you not want to see, like, me do a solo stream? Would that be too much, or would that be okay? Two streams of the same game? Yeah. I think that's cool. Why not? I think you and Brandon would play it so different, and the vibe would be so different. Sure. That I think there is value in that. And it's like, hey, if you're just going to play anyways, and you want to stream it, why not? Yeah. It's because we're not taking anything away by you doing that. Yeah, and I, I, like, I'm not saying that, like, I'm not like, oh, you know, they don't want to watch, like, I just want to know, I want streams to be good, I want yeah. streams to be fun, you know, that, that kind of thing. I think it'll be great. It's like I'm gonna enjoy the game anyway. If you be as interactive with the community as possible, like in the game. Yeah. I yeah. don't know like all that you'll be able to do, but if like you encourage people to do stuff with you in your town. <laughs> yeah. I would love like uh, down his trees. Like an RTS style animal crossing where you just like send your RTS. In. <laughs> wow. That'd be cool actually. See, oh, I've lost control of Kevin. Hold on a second, bud. I think I need a what? Weird. Okay, now I'm Angela. Now I'm Kevin. Okay. Because, like, when FF7 comes out, there's gonna be some streams of that game it's going down. Don Mani will probably full play through it at like 3 a.m. every night. Brad, I really want to play with Jones. Yeah. Brad, I know you totally want to play it with Jones, and that makes complete sense. I would love to do an FF7 stream with you, whether oh. that's like with you, me, yeah, and Brandon. Yo. Just Dude. to like, yeah, no, because like we should do it sure, too yeah. because that's the prophecy. That's what we started when we did the original. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was because of the remake. Yeah, dude. it was. That's why we started doing it. Yeah. It was because of the remake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Holy shit! There's so much time that has passed. Yeah, it's been oh forever. God. I'm going to die someday. Oh my god, what is time? How do I feel about Byleth and Smash? Like, I, like I wouldn't have picked that character out of all of them because either like Byleth doesn't really have a personality. I feel like no. you, Byleth's like okay, I guess, but like I don't know. What is this moonshine jug? It's my water jug, dude. <laughs> it is a really big moonshine. I got a jug, big dude. one because I got sick of refilling it all the time. Sure. Blob's more of a clog guy. Wrong guess. Gnome Day. Yeah, I'm all about Dimitri. <laughs> Killed like everybody in my game. <laughs> I didn't recruit any students. <laughs> Cold hearted approach. I didn't know. <laughs> like a point. Why was Mega Man Star First so underrated? Like, I loved as a kid, was it bad? Uh, I can't answer that. I, I hate that I haven't played the. Uh, Battle Network and Star Force games. I feel yeah, like never I never played Battle them. Network. Alright, what do you guys got? Uh, Close. But yeah, I just I just missed them. We should buy whatever we can for Kevin. If yeah, that's what I'm option. looking at. So let me where's the second claw? Or a glove. Let me make sure you haven't already gotten it for Yeah. Him. Might want to save too before you spend the cash. I just saved, yeah. Okay, good. Um, so. Do you think Huber would be like Hubert? No. Okay, no, Cuber wait, was okay. uh absolutely not. <laughs> Raphael, I think that what was his name? Was it that was that his name? I think he's cool with your house, so I don't really know. Something with an R. Yeah, look at that jump. Yeah, good. Yeah, we're get we're getting these items. It's gonna take some grinding, but we're we're getting this stuff. 
Raphael, yeah, heavy armor guy in deer. Well, there you go. He's um, super jolly. There you go. Yep. Somebody, like, man, I just want, I want GBA games on Switch. Me too. And like, they could just do it. Mm -hmm. They could just do it. Mm -hmm. Just do it. What? There's <laughs> only they are preventing themselves from <laughs> putting all of these sick ass GBA games mm -hmm. on Switch. Mm -hmm. You can get Battle Network. You can get Advance Wars. You can get so many things. You get all the Castle Vegas. Right. Why don't on. you just put a lot of your sick games on your system? Golden Sun. You can put everything on there. Yeah. Put Golden Sun Metal on there. Metal Slug Advance. Sick. There's our start for the next one. <laughs> we got 9,000. I wonder if after the Zero ZX collection, if Battle Network would be something that we would do? Maybe, yeah. <clears throat> I... Um... Sleep it off. Dude, this Come on a day. It's bad. Minish Cap is trash, though. So I don't think Minish Cap is trash, but I will say this. For years, there were, like, I don't know what I was reading, but there, there was, like, people that I trusted that were like, Minish Cap is the best Zelda, and it had, they had it I, hyped up for me so much. And I finally played all the way through it, and I was like, oh, that was fine. Like, I didn't, I didn't love it the way that a lot of other people loved it. Right. But that's just me. You guys are reviewing DBZ Kakarot. Brad is reviewing DBZ yeah. Kakarot. I think we can also say this. Um, Brad and I are intending to do a, like, a after a weekend impressions yeah. video, if we can. Yeah, if so, we have time. yeah. Don't. Not a guarantee, but that's, that's something yeah, that we're we talking about. Cover more stuff quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we don't get stuff early enough, yeah. yeah. So we don't have to wait, like, weeks to talk about something. Minish Cap oh, is bad as Skyward Sword. Hey, I like Skyward Sword. I love Skyward Sword. You gotta pump that open critic? For what game? I like... Someone's got bets? I like uh, Skyward Sword probably more than it deserves, but I do love it. I like Skyward Sword. I like the dungeons of that game, I remember. Yeah. I have problems with it, but there's parts I really like. Kakarot? Uh... Yeah, me and Ben were talking about it. Yeah. Seven, six, five territory. Don't, don't, don't ruin the impressions yet, but yeah. Not very far though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, that's not, just not very far. That's after a damn play. Yeah. We'll see though. I'm sure Huber and Dom and I talked about it a lot yesterday. I'm sure. Cacron is a 12, yeah. The GDQ run of Skyward Sword was amazing. Dude, I like missed all of GDQ because mm. I was on my honeymoon and uh oh. Yeah. Uh, so I, I have a lot to catch up on. So, like, it would, chat, if you could do me a solid, if you could just tell me, like, the best runs of GDQ to kind of, like, give me a priority list. Like, nice. it was nice that Screaming Argonaut was like, hey, this guy with Sword Run is amazing. Yeah. There was a Final Fantasy VIII run. I didn't see all of it, Did it? but it seemed cool. How long was it? Was it, like, three? Like, it was, like, eight hours, I think. Oh. <laughs> so, if you got time to kill, or you're just doing something you yeah. want it on the background. I was just having fun listening yeah, to the like, That's a long dude. run for a stream like that. They always end with big... Well, people do like 100% runs. runs of Final Fantasy VII, and it's like Oh, yeah, there was a DMC hours. 5 run. I did see that. Yeah, there was DMC. Yeah. I think that was like two or three hours. Uh, it's def... Okay, I will say Kakarot is definitely better than Jump Force. Yeah, nice. I haven't even played Jump Force, and I can tell you that. <laughs> Definitely, like, so far, it's definitely better. It doesn't look hideous, like those characters of Jump Force did. DMC5 had a great catch. The couch can add so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Super knowledgeable. Um, that guy who ran Resident Evil 7, unfortunately, I don't know his name. Like, he was just such an entertaining runner. Which and, year? Uh, 
was it was this last year? year, but I don't remember if it was Agent I know or SG2. Carcinogen SDA did one. It might have been him. And he's good. It might have been him. So he did a stream, um, Ben, with Kamiya talking about RE2. Like he talks about like, stuff during the video. It's really sick. He got to do an RE2 yeah, with, stream with, with Kamiya? Him. Yeah, I should find it and send it to you. It's really cool. I don't know if I've ever been more jealous than I am right now. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like pure. Raw, yeah, and him just like telling him like design stuff about it, like what was going on. At that's the time. like Brad. That's like what I want to have dreams about. Yeah. So we got to do it with you and Devil May Cry. Yeah. Devil oh, May Cry I, be doing like a playthrough with Kamiya of DMC One. Yeah, that'd be awesome. It'd be amazing. It'd be amazing on two levels. You get amazing insight, and it'd be funny. And like, I would also want Kamiya just to say like, "You shit at the game." Mm -hmm. That'd be yeah. Someday I'll interview Kamiya. Like, you I know believe. who I would love to do that with too is Ueda. And talk about, oh, yeah. like, Last Guardian or something with him. That would be, like, the best. Mm -hmm. Ta talking about um, games with developers is, like, yeah, the greatest so thing. Yeah, so cool. I remember when we were, when XCOM 2 was coming out. Uh, just because XCOM has been on the mind. And I got to talk to the creative lead behind XCOM 2. And it's just like. These people are just filled with so much passion and love mm -hmm. and vision. Mm -hmm. It's like inspiring. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. just like talking to devs is so fun. And they can just go off on anything. Like, yeah. It doesn't even have to be their own game. Yeah. They just have such a huge appreciation because they're just for fans video games. too, yeah. like us. Yeah, yeah. The five follow games run. I actually, I actually did start watching a little bit of that because I, I thought that was amazing. Where did you see that? No. Did so, they run all the fall games? So they they ran oh, five of them. They ran. <laughs> Uh, Fallout 1, 2, 3, New Vegas, and 4, back to back to back That's to really back cool. to back. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I loved your Suda 51 interview. I did too. That's that was a badass great. interview, dude. Getting to do Suda 51. Yeah, That's I loved uh, doing Takfuji. I loved the Cyberpunk interview. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, Cyberpunk guys were cool. So I liked, I also liked the Doom Eternal interview, but the Doom Eternal interview, I think, suffered from a couple of things. Interviews are never as good when you get. The setting of an interview can affect a lot, yeah, and that was a bad setting that we were in, mm -hmm. and it just wasn't enough time. Sometimes yeah. you just need more time to, mm -hmm. to go into stuff. We didn't yeah. we didn't quite have enough. Yeah, time. it's hard at E3 because literally everyone is busy. Everyone. Yeah, well, yeah and they get behind and then they, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, always behind the schedule. Just count on it. Um, I think. It was either Notebook or Minmax they were talking about Doom Eternal with the dev. And I gotta, I gotta check that out. Yeah, I gotta check out some Notebook stuff. Hugo Martin is such a great personality. Yeah, morning, uh, Asakura. That's the thing. Like, he, he totally is because, like, okay. Maybe I already told this story about when I played Doom Eternal at E3. I don't know if I did, but I it's a good did. story. So I was playing Doom Eternal E3. Obviously, I was super excited, and Hugo Martin was behind me, and he was talking with somebody, and they were they were watching me learn, and they were excited seeing me naturally learn, and they were like, "Oh, we designed it this way. Like we wanted you to piece these connections together." And it was just like, "Yeah, that's sick." He just had such pure joy. Like I got to talk to him after the fact and he we just geeked out about like and he would he would come up and he'd give me tips and he's like oh hey dude try this mm -hmm. out and it was just like you were like it was like going over to a friend's house and they were showing you a game that they loved mm -hmm. and they had already beaten it and they had like they wanted to show you so what it was like. when i played star wars i went to the, like the preview event or whatever stig was like right behind That's me nice. And he was watching me play, and I was like talking to him, and he's like, "Oh, good. I'm glad you did this at this yeah, point. Like yeah, we yeah. were hoping that would happen. It's like, that's really cool. Totally. I can't imagine. Like I'm sh I, obviously it's it's incredibly difficult, and I'm sure there are many nightmarish days making games. But there also have to be days where, mm -hmm. like, you're just mm -hmm. like you have this breakthrough through it. Everybody is on cloud nine, and you're all freaking. Yeah, out. when like something clicks. Yeah. Mega Man Relay Race is also really good. Yeah, I saw some of that. Yeah, Mega Man's always good. Always good Mega Man representation at the at the AGDQs and Dude, SGDQs. you know what I thought? Like, just from a team standpoint, like, with Cyberpunk getting delayed, 
there's like now there's that question of like do they have to go to E3 with Cyberpunk yeah, again? Yeah, like this would be my third time they seeing have to, it probably. Because like when they don't have a like big game like that, oh, like they just walk the floor. Like they yeah, don't do they're just hanging out. Yeah, so like there's that dude, whole question of planning is and promoting so crazy and you know? every time, dude. Such a cool vibe. Their, like their little like room area. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where they're like like a bar like thing. Oh, yeah. it's so cool. Um. Probably seven booth though was tight last this, year. You say they probably won't have a booth, but like with Warner Brothers helping them out, like yeah. they might want them to have a booth. I didn't get to do the RE one that you and Huber did, it was which cool. I bet was sick. It looked awesome. The uh, speaking of like good booths, Bethesda always like has a pretty interesting Every, setup. Yeah, they do. Um, Mafia Three had a like I remember really seeing it. crazy I never booth. Went inside it, but I remember seeing it. Yeah. Thunderstorm plus one. Fortnite was insane. Ridiculous. Last year. You do strength. Fortnite was like the Coachella of uh, E3, where it was just stamina out of control. Can't do stamina. Nope. Okay. Uh, Dexterity, intellect, spirit, luck. Uh, intellect. Yeah, the FF7 booth. I think oh, the, the FF7 booth was, was like. Amazing. I think it was the same as the one we did, but it was really cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, the Zelda booth for. Um, Breath of the Wild was see awesome. See if Kevin got an uh, yeah. attack. Awesome. I, didn't, I didn't see if he did get one. The Luigi's Mansion yeah. was good. Okay. Cool. I didn't go in it either. Didn't get those Nintendo scoops. This year, though, Bloodworth. Breath of the Wild 2. Um, somebody mentioned uh, Doom 64. I keep... Oh, what about it? Yeah. yeah well, you have to pre-order to get it. Oh, okay. And I haven't oh. done that yet. And I really want that, so I ha I'll have to, sure, yeah. have to do that. I wish you could just buy it. I remember playing that game back in the day. Let's see what this all enemy thunderstorm looks like. Ooh. Oh, that's the one that enemies Man, are using, yeah. Like, I, I get it. I get it from a business standpoint why they're doing it. But, but yeah, it's they still... should release Doom 64 they early. They probably will. Just later. No, 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 no. Early, before the release. Oh, early. Yeah. Get, get you hyped, hyped up. up. Yeah. yeah. Build momentum. Don't go on that door. Cause like when Doom, like I, I'm excited for Doom 64. I'm not gonna play it over Doom Eternal. Speaking of E3, I heard people claim that E3 was too crowded, but now I have also reports that it was unusually empty. What's true? So a yes. lot of the floor was like there's a lot of open spots exactly. on the floor. <laughs> exactly. But to play something, like a lot of stuff takes. Yeah, a it was long empty because now. you couldn't play anything. Unless exactly. You got in line at 11. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Was was Quake on in sixty four? Yeah, Quake sixty four, I believe. I, yeah. Okay, I did. So like that's how I played all of those games. Interesting. Because I didn't have a PC till high school, so like that's all I knew about it pretty much. I did play Doom on our old 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 PC though. Animal Crossing is getting delayed, isn't it? Uh, I don't think so. Nah, I, I doubt it. Yeah, they already delayed it. Yeah, I think I think it's time. It's time to go to that island, baby. How busy is Huber? Really reckon I'm not spending too long with him. I like his schedule's packed. Uh, I think he is very busy. Any advice how to sell to him? Uh, I will have to pitch it to him probably. And we'll just have to figure out how to do it. I don't I know like when we can do everything it. Everything that was cool about Lost Planet co-op kind of got integrated into like Moss Hunter stuff, yeah? I don't no. know. I didn't really no. play. I played like the demo of two, so I'm not sure. Um, I would love to do a Lost Planet yeah, co-op. Yeah, so like. That's a really good suggestion. We just got to figure out how, to, game. how yeah. to do it and get it set up. But like, hey, that sounds cool. Yeah, I think it would be really Shooting fun Shooting bugs with my Planet friends is sick. With like, with you guys. I remember really enjoying Lost Planet 2. I remember playing 1. Yeah. I, I thought like it was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, 1 was like one of those early... Like, Xbox 360 yeah. games, yeah. Next-gen hype games. What that people delayed? were sort of disappointed with, right? Uh, Wu-Tang... Um, no, I, I feel like Lost Planet 1 had a pretty good reception at launch. Uh, Cyberpunk got delayed Wu-Tang. I think it, it benefited from like the launch title yeah, for, for sure, sure. but... I've, you know, I've never played StarCraft 64, and I would really like to. Oh, really? Just, just like as a curiosity. Yeah, that's an interesting one, huh? Just as a curiosity. Sure. Um, an RTS on Instagram. Actually, I think I was curious about uh, too. 
Quake 64 as well. I wouldn't mind playing that. Quake, I imagine, is probably pretty easy to get your hands on, but like, StarCraft 64 can be kind of expensive, if mm -hmm. I remember correctly. So it's like, my curiosity is not worth a huge price tag, but. Warcraft 3 or Forge comes out at the end of the month. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. trying to cover that. See if we can cover it. Yeah, we are on the list, but I uh, don't know when we're going to get it yet. Quick 64 is real good. Coltane, that makes me. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember the interested. quality of it. Yeah, I just I, remember the nail gun. I, yeah, I really bet it's not that hard to get a hold of. I wonder if gameplay has a copy. I would totally check. I did see those Doom updates for the uh, recent releases. It's pretty cool. They're putting a lot of work into those. The only reason why I have an N64 emulator is to replay Ogre Bow 64. Sick. Never finished that game. Yeah, I, like I haven't really play. played it either. It's one of those games. I remember that, it was sick back in the day. It's but one of those games that's been on my like. I would love to play this for. Yeah, yeah, ever. that and uh, the PSP one was super good. The thing that was frustrating about Over 64 though is when I wanted to play it, it was just so hard to get through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it like it just kept getting pushed back because you yeah, couldn't afford it. Yeah, but then it. it did come out on like Virtual Console. Mm -hmm. But at that point, like. Like with a lot of virtual console games, there's right. so many current releases. Right, right, right. I did not play over Battle, Battle on SNES, though. I played some Tactics Ogre on GBA, yeah. They trying to stop emailing me with post updates from you guys. Has it changed something, or is it on the Well, you didn't change anything. Just I don't Patreon. know what that's about. Patreon should be um, really frustrating. You can go to their help center and uh, I think you're gonna have to just send them a note. Exactly. A little cinnamon no button. Can I put a little fault too, Ben? Me too. Yes. Also so put the first two on Switch. Yes, that would be sick. When is Brings in Fault 2? Just I don't some, remember the date. I think they just said some time this year, maybe. I don't think there was like a time window necessarily, though. I would, really, I would really like to review Brings in Fault 2. Do it. Do it. I'm happy just to casually play that game. Man. <laughs> Somebody just said Rogue Squadron in chat, and like, <laughs> I would love a new Rogue Squadron game. Yeah, everyone would. Oh. Layer, man. Yeah. Crazy. Oh. I did not mean to do that, it was an accident. <laughs> We can't battle. It's like a classic Monster Hunter situation. You can kick back to the area. Poison you too. Oh, <laughs> he died before I poisoned him. It's hilarious. <laughs> Come on, Kevin. Mischief Maker Man. Take the kills. I have that game. I've uh I remember being like three hours. I've never I've never played Mischief Maker. I always cool. thought the box it. art was cool. Yeah, it was cool back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Shake, shake, shake. Man, now I now I just want to do like an N64 stream. There's a lot of There's cool. There's so games. many things that I would play on that stream. It was fun doing the uh the Star Wars stream, just bouncing around different things. Yeah, for sure. I wanted to do Quake. I want to do StarCraft if it didn't destroy my wallet. I uh, do Rogue Squadron, the original Rogue Squadron. Mm. <laughs> maybe, maybe some Buck Bumble. Oh no! Uh. <laughs> Buck, Buck Bumble is not a good game. I've I've played Buck Bumble as a as a child. <laughs> It's such a jam. Yeah, yeah, I never got to play enough Blast Core, so that, that might be good. It's on Rare Replay. Yeah, I know. I think that's where I played it, was Rare Replay. Oh. Um, Jet Force great. Gemini. I, I have a lot of nostalgia for Jet Force Gemini. Me too. I really liked that game as a kid. Playing it on Rare Replay, I did not have nearly as high oh, of an opinion no, on it. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> but uh, I... 
Totally get that. I still have a soft spot for it. Yeah. Yeah, it did not age as well as I had hoped. Yeah, I I didn't get to play it on N64, and then like trying to figure it out on every play was like this is kind of rough. Diddy Kong Racing would be a fun one in a oh grab bag screen. I love Diddy Kong Racing. You gotta do Diddy Kong Racing with like other people. Yeah, though. got to. Yeah. Now Diddy Kong Racing has aged well. Hmm. That's good. Yes. Yeah. I haven't played it since it came out. Played it like maybe a year ago, and it was awesome. It was awesome. Aged well. And I also got to play it like, speaking of things that are like really high on the list, but I just, I, I don't want to do it until I get like a really good percent of time, is uh, Banjo 2. Banjo 2 mm -hmm. is like, I never way finished Tui. I've never played Tui, oh, okay. and I, I love Kyle's Kazooie. starting it tomorrow. Yeah, I love yeah, Tui. Hey. I, it's sad because like I'm sure it would be awesome watching Kyle play Tui, but I don't want to ruin yeah, anything won't for myself, right, so. so I won't watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for you. Yeah. But yeah, I, um, I really love it. Angela must be like getting some huge upgrades to her like MP, because I'm surprised at how much MP I have right now. <sighs> What new legendary bird are you going with? Is that Pokemon? Are they adding new birds? Uh, that's actually a game I'd like to revisit. I I didn't much care for Donkey Kong 64 at the time, Dude. and I was mm. I was excited for it. Um, so expansion pack. Yeah, that's how I got my expansion pack. Yeah, yeah, that's how I. Actually, I think I got my expansion pack with Majora's Mask. Did it but... come with a Majora's Mask? Yes. Or maybe it was on 64? I, I knew it came with Donkey Kong. That's how I got mine. Yeah, I think... I think maybe... No, it wouldn't have been both. Huh. Uh, but yeah, I didn't I didn't care for it at the time. Cuba like, I didn't Donkey hate it. Maybe it was both. That had, that had him. I didn't uh, like it the way I liked like Banjo Kazooie. Dude, no. <laughs> or like, I don't need to collect five different colors of bananas. You no needed things. it for Majora, but you didn't get it. Did you get it with Perfect Dark? Uh, Man, I want to play some Perfect Dark. I don't know. Speaking of N64 stuff. <laughs> like, oh man, had some fun times in Perfect Dark. Expansion pack came with Rogue Squadron. Did it? I didn't. I don't think. Not not think when anyone Squadron, I knew. Yeah, I don't think Rogue Squadron needed an expansion pack. No, that doesn't sound right. Not when it was originally released. Not the first one, at least. Yeah. Well, and the second one was on GameCube. It was launch. GameCube launch. So no. It might have worked with it. You had it for Rogue Squadron. Maybe it came later, but I don't think it came out originally with that. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't sound right to me. I wonder if it's regional. Thing? Yeah, there we go. Uh, there oh, there we okay. go. Regional. Gotcha. Neo Two producer said developing this new Neo Seeking and all these games are like, dude. <laughs> Team Ninja is like, like, the today they're just like dancing. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Two time, they're baby. stoked. <laughs> yeah. Delay it all. I hope we get access to Neo Two Super. Early. Me too. Nine that codes. game needs more than most. Man, my Neo streams are like some of my favorite streams. Ever. Mm. I remember streaming Neo and just like walking in water and dying because huh. I didn't, couldn't tell it was shallow or not. Oh, sure. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm dead. This is hilarious. I like remember exactly where it is in my head. Wrecked ship. How far along are we? 18. It was halfway to go. I don't think my Neo 2 stream is as good as my Neo 1 stream is, but so it goes. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles early seems unlikely. Yeah, actually, the weird thing is Xenoblade Chronicles has been the one series that Nintendo's given us way in advance. Oh, really? Well, not, well yes, and Fire Emblem? 
Fire Emblem was earlier last year. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. and I also think we got Echoes and uh, Warriors earlier. Yeah. Do you guys generally get stuff early from Square Enix? Uh, it depends. It on depends. The game. Usually, I got Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts was late. Two yeah. days before it came out. But like, I got. Uh, what did I get? I'm Can't worried. About I'm right worried now. you won't get FF7 early. Me too. Me too. I got Oninaki like a week before it came out, I think. Will Bethesda send out Doom? I hope. It's a tough question. It's a very tough question. They've, I hope. they've kind of been back and forth because they had that policy for a bit where they were like, games weren't going to go out until uh, like right before launch. Like the day before, basically. Uh, and even though they were really public about that, they sort of backed off more recently. Mm. So. Dragon Quest XI did come out. Yep. Yes. It came out, like, we got it. Yes. I feel like they if the game really nice is like, out in Japan for a little while, we usually have a better cho chance of getting it. Did any of the allies get hooked on Slay the Spire just down on the Switch? I just can't stop. So I've played some Slay the Spire on PC and on Switch. Not very much, but I love it, and I just haven't... I've just gotten distracted by other things, and I haven't, like gotten obsessed with it but i've i have loved what i've played and i just i need to like come up with an excuse like a stream or something mm. to like let its hooks fully get into so, yeah i think it's a really 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 cool game what do you guys think of the smash 5 dlc it gives me like the same satisfaction of like a darkest game mm. even though they're, they're very different. well they're not very different but they're different mm. yeah there's a lot of games i'd like to go back to I never got to finish uh, Blasphemous. Yeah, I didn't. I'd have to restart it now because it's been too long. I feel really bad about Blasphemous. Um, there was just, I remember it was busy at the time. Katana Zero, I was really into Yeah, Katana that. Zero is yeah. not too long. Uh, nice. Did you guys see Kunai is coming out soon? Yeah, no. I did see it. Did you post the Yeah. Like, uh, I'm really interested in that game. What are your feelings of Surfer right now with how Bethesda was lately? Um... I, I, Snoko, honestly, I don't have any feelings on it, just because we know so little. Mm -hmm. um, I I don't know that it's entirely fair to hold recent Bethesda stuff against them with Starfield. So I, I just, uh, I, I won't know until I see it. I think it's reasonable to be cautious. I think it's reasonable to be cautious. I think that is well, I think it's very true, Brad. I think that's a good point. But I'm not like I don't have like mm -hmm. super hard. Yeah, I see. Yeah. 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 We haven't been quick saving. Yeah, we just quick saved. Like we just did. Oh, okay. I just know there are like long periods of time where we don't. We've no, been saving I, more. I, now. I've got like a halfway point. Okay. Like, like at each end, I do. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's too scary. Starfield would be a train wreck. I don't know. Hopefully not. Uh, they're streaming, uh... Temtem is being streamed Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Tuesday, so... Forward to that. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Straight up. <laughs> I would love to like go to Joe's town and somehow plaster Yoshi everywhere. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. <laughs> he wouldn't even be bad. But if we did it so much, then he'd just get sick of it and get mad. That's the level we gotta get to. Like everyone just keep bringing it up to him. <laughs> Dude, that'd be awesome. Man, Angela needs one too. Man, something's going on. My phone keeps buzzing. Something's popping off. Dude's coats. Yeah. It's coats. Uh, Ben, I won't review Soundblade. 
I'm gonna play it, but I'm not gonna review it. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that we'll go through the trouble to do a full review. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that we'll go through the trouble of a full review. But I mean, maybe Damiani would. But yeah, but the huge freaking game to replay all the way through in a hype time period. You're not gonna stop me from talking about it. Though. Yeah. Oh no. It will be discussed numerous occasions. Xenoblade Chronicles 1, and the world will finally understand. What do you think about the decrease in popularity of card games? That's a really good uh, question. How kind of easy, Oversaturation. Um, yeah, everyone's kind of jumped on that bandwagon. Yeah, that's 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 the answer. I'm curious to see how Legends of Runeterra does. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's oversaturation, and I think it's just like the other. It's not just oversaturation, but oversaturation exacerbates this problem. It's like you invest really heavily in a card game, right? mm -hmm. and then another one comes out, and, you're like, and oh. it takes another huge investment. Mm -hmm. you're, the more that come out, the less inclined you're going to be to do that. Well, and it's, the problem is it's not a one-time investment, right? Right, exactly. There's I played, always new. I played when when the beta first came around. But now if I went into Gwent, I would have no idea. Like, it's an entirely different game. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so, it's it's a really hard... It's funny, because for the longest time, it was such an underserved market, mm -hmm. and now it's just like... It's like uh, MMOs after game. World of Warcraft. Yeah, and then it's like MOBAs, card games... But uh, yeah, I think I think you have to be pretty established to do something or have the reach of something like a riot. But yeah, I'm curious to see how Legends of yeah, Runeterra does. Definitely, it's open beta next week. Uh, yeah, something like that. And I I want to try it. I haven't played it yet, so I'm I'm curious. It's sad because like I actually I actually really liked Artifact. But boy. Yeah. No one else. Not enough people did. Oh, you're you're getting low on the you need a fairy walnut. I low on mana. Do you think they'll announce a new Atreonasi this year? I think it's very possible, yeah. They they announced Atreonasi at such a steady clip. I sure don't see on Switch hype. That'd be great. Just get Rune Factory 5. I just want to play Rune Factory 4 Special. And um, <laughs> why isn't that out yet? Yeah, even Shovel Knight had a card game. They did it right, though. Yeah, to put it in the game. shoved in. You only need to play it to beat the game. Uh, Children of Morta is a game then. Yeah, I, I actually I bought Children of Morta because I want to play it. Nice. I actually, I think I have it on PC and Switch. PC and Switch. Yeah, I think I might have it on PC, but I haven't played it since early previews. Uh, hey, lovely chat. Is there a date for Rune Factory 4 Special yet? That would be a game, like, like I don't know if I'll be able to, but that would be a game I would love to do. Hey, is that a new Tales game coming out this year? Tales of Arise? Yes. Cool. Oh, is that for sure this year? Nice. February? Thank you. Lovely chat. Excellent. More is on Xbox. Yeah, it's on Games Pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is 2020. Sick. I'm excited. February 20th. Thanks, next year, man. Uh, I gotta put, I gotta mark myself down for that on the release schedule. What, Tails? No, we got three, four. I don't think anyone's gonna fight me on that. If it's February though, yeah, I don't think it's on like a lot of the release calendars. I don't remember making a note of it even coming out. Man, playing Tales of Arise at E3 is gonna be cool. Man, mm -hmm. 
We're at two o'clock. I think until we finish this this loop, we're gonna have to call, call it. it. Yeah. Um, the the cash is coming in pretty slow. Grind it out, Jones stream. Ben, will you ever finish your Rune Factory four impression since YouTube got cut it off? So, like, I actually got to call out the other allies, and I don't know who made this call. What? For what? So, the stream cut out when I was given impressions of Rune Factory four, and it was like one of my favorite things that I saw at E three. I was so excited to talk about it, and I thought like after the internet came back on, I'd be able to talk about it. And they're just like, no, we're moving on. I was like. What? Oh, <laughs> what? <man. laughs> Guys, I had more to say! Uh, so that was, uh... Remember when we did, like... It's so hard when you, like, we did an impression freaking games or something. I don't think anyone yeah. meant it maliciously. Right. I think, like, it was just a frantic schedule. I remember the last but day of E3 coverage. Was and it was, like, call? I don't think three. it was my call, was it? I don't... I really... I honestly don't remember whose call it was. I don't even know if it was a call, right. or it just happened, but, yeah, I cast the hex on all the other allies. It was really late. Yeah, it was really late. That's true. It's a good point here. Yeah, like, I'm going Apparently David Jeffy is saying the PS5 reveal is less than four weeks away. This is gonna sound like a huge slight, but it's not. David Jeffy says a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> he says a lot of things. I'm not saying he isn't right in this case. He totally could be, but it's just hard to like bank on that. Gotcha. So much of the stuff you played with Monster Hunter across Dragalia collapse soon. <coughs> How soon? Um, there, were, there were things I really liked about the Mega Man collab, and there were things I was super disappointed in. Um, so I'm hoping the Monster Hunter collab is even better. Mm. How do I hear? How do I heal petrification again? Is it? Oh, uh, yeah, it's that guy. Trying to death is the worst game oh. ever. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? Should we green? Yeah, do it. Yeah, we gotta stop this stream. Yeah. Unfortunately. We're almost at the end of the loop. Can you still play? Drawn to death. I don't know. Good question. Was that PS3 or PS4? Um, I think PS4. Oh, okay. Good. I right. don't remember. I guess it is. Four. 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 Attack is no good against this And then collapsing like a holdover. It definitely felt like a holdover. Nemesis is going to be different, the map's going to be bigger. Well, the thing is, is like, RE3 is a very different game from RE2, mm -hmm. so I, I, don't, I don't... I just don't know that any... upgrades is the right word. Yeah. There's a dodge, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, there is a dodge, it's true. There's multiplayer. Why did he do, like, the healing animation, but then didn't do the heal? I think because the battle ended, maybe. Alright, that's the loot. How much cash we got? Yeah, not enough. But I'll check the prices on the uh, other gear when we uh, get over there. Actually, we'll, we'll wait till we get out there to do that. Yeah, and just just from the last trailer, especially like Carlos is gonna. Be... 
for sure. I'll probably get the weapons before the armor. Realistically, when are we going to show you how it does How did I take the Gandalf 2 delay? I'm cool with it. Let it cook, man. Gandalf 2. Yeah, let it cook. Who's next on Frame Trap? Blood and Ian. Mm -hmm. I'm next on Frame Trap. Scruffy Monk, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks everyone who's resubbed and everything. We are uh, Twitch alerts or Streamlabs isn't up at the moment. Oh yeah, so I think that's what it was. Yeah, so like we have the armor, but we don't have the helmets, but the helmets are only like two above the last one, so that's what we'll we'll work on getting our uh, uh, weapons first. Mm. And then these aren't that expensive. Well said. Hi, Ian. No, that's mine. <laughs> I didn't realize you got those, but yeah. Oh god, they're too similar. Too similar. That's it for Mana Day. Sorry for the wipes. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, yeah. Are you doing weekly hunts? You were doing weekly hunts? Yeah, we gotta get that set up. All right, chat. And then uh, Silver Squad will be after that. Banjo Chewie tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And the uh, incense streams on Monday. Woo! Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it works. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.